In this video, we're going to identify a process improvement opportunity and also quantify that particular improvement. Now here we have a video of uh, four guys collapsing a cage. So let's play the video and watch it together. So there's four different guys and one guy here, this guy here, he goes the wrong way around. He went to the right instead of the left. And as a result, everyone is waiting for him. He's causing a delay. And then they, once they get to their corners, they're going to collapse the cage down and then they're going to push to compress the cage. And that's the end of their work content. And then along comes the stockman, and he's responsible for removing the cage from the work area. Now, of course, the advantage of a video is you get a record of what actually happened. So you'll look up things like, uh, look at the way he's reaching over here. He could hurt himself here. He might need help there. He could also damage the product dropping it down like that. Maybe walking away backwards is not the smartest thing to do either. So what we've got is we've got four operators and a stockman. We call them operator one, operator two, operator three, operator four. And you can see we've already timed all the activities. So we've got separate videos showing you how to do the timing. It's very straightforward. But you can go back to any observation. I'm going to go to operator three here and double click. This is operator three here. He's the guy that goes the wrong way around. He went to the right instead of the left. He's causing the delay here. So we've got the activities for all the subjects that we have in this video. And once we've done that, all we do is click on the time preview up here. Give it a couple of seconds. And it's going to take the information from our video time study and put it into a chart. So here you see operator 1, 2, 3, 4, and the stockman here. The brown fillet areas, the fillet is the wait time. That's when they're not doing anything. So it's pretty obvious here everyone is waiting. Operator 1, 2, and 4 is waiting for operator 3. We can click once on the little video icon. It gives us a preview. Double click and it play it back for us again. And now we can see again this guy going the wrong way around here. He's holding everything up here. So what can we do here? Well, before we do anything, we might say this is our current state of the process. So we might want to pop out a Gantt chart for this. So we click on the summary here and say give us a Gantt chart. And it's going to pop that out to here. And you can see the delay operator 3 is uh, holding everything up. And um, everyone else is waiting for him here. And we could export that to Excel, but we're not going to do that right now. Just going to click off of this. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up my little savings grid here. So I click on the savings here, and it's going to show me my current process here. So what we're going to do is we're going to look to eliminate the delay. So the obvious thing to do is talk to operator 3 and say, don't go to the right, go to the left. If you went to the left, you get there roughly at the same time as everyone else. So I click on this and hold the shift down and click on it. It's going to bring up this little line here. I can grab the little target here and slide it down. So if he went the other way around, he would get there roughly the same time as everyone else, which would put him in about here. And you can see it's going to drop that down to there. Okay, so say about there. Now, if he did that, then the other guys wouldn't have to wait. So we can eliminate this wait time. So we just click here and hit the delete key. As I do it, look at the saving going up as I take out each of these times. So we're quantifying the effect of the saving here. If these guys finished earlier, the stockman can arrive earlier. So we can do the same thing here. Click on the filler, which is the wait time here, and drag it down. He wouldn't have to wait as long. So now we can grab this guy and just drag it down here. So now you can see we've made these changes and we've quantified that our work content has been reduced by a third and our cycle time by 20%. At this point, of course, we could generate another Gantt chart, which will show the elimination of the delay that we saw earlier here. The non-value added time has been eliminated. So this gives you a way of quickly quantifying the effect of process changes in terms of potential savings.